Kathy Wood has been selling and shifting positions in companies more frequently over the last couple weeks of trading, and especially last week with Zillow actually sold off over $376 million worth of Zillow shares. Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the latest moves from ARK Invest, and what's going through the mind of the one and only Kathy Wood. And if you guys are new to my channel, feel free to like and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on all the latest news with the stock market, but now let's get right into this video. So last Thursday, Kathy Wood decided to change her position in a company that reported earnings last week, and this is yet another promising move to deliver even more promising returns for their ETFs, as they invested into Facebook, but now known as Meta Platforms. So just like the younger generations, Kathy Wood has been losing interest in Facebook as she sold off her shares 14 times this year throughout two of her ETFs. But just two weeks ago, that selling turned into buying after Facebook took a hit the day after rebranding their company to Meta Platforms. And since then, she's increased her position two more times with the latest coming on last Thursday. So Kathy Wood's investments are mainly focused on the technology of the future, and that's why her and ARK Invest hold massive positions in sectors such as artificial intelligence, robotics, genome sequencing, and others. And Facebook's announcement for their plan for the metaverse was promising enough to convince Kathy Wood to go from selling the stock to buying the stock as she purchased over $63 million worth of shares, which equivalents to about 197,000 shares on November 1st. And then she purchased another 36 million, which is about 102,000 shares on Thursday. And a main reason for these investments is because Facebook is now the leader in this new and rapidly growing metaverse sector, and Kathy Wood believes that Facebook will win the race when it comes to who can develop the most realistic and real life application of the virtual world. And a factor that led her to believe this is that Facebook is partnered with a company called Matterport and they've had an ongoing partnership since mid-July. But right now, Matterport is being talked about as being a necessary component in the creation of the metaverse. So basically what Matterport does is use their technology to create 3D virtual displays of houses, homes, buildings, rooms, and pretty much any indoor setting. And actually their technology is already being used by a company called Redfin and they are a real estate company for those who haven't heard of them before. And what they do is partner with them to create 3D walkthroughs of homes for home buyers and real estate agents to view. So Facebook already having a partnership with a company that could be a key factor in building and shaping the foundations of the metaverse is a very promising sign if the metaverse does take off. And Kathy Wood seems to agree as she has loaded over $100 million into Facebook in just the last week of trading. So Kathy Wood is no longer a seller of Facebook. She is back to being a buyer and after making some strong buys, it's looked like we'll see that continue as Facebook continues to make more progress on their metaverse. And with the stock being up about 9% since Kathy Wood first started buying back in on October 27th, Meta Platforms has already made her a solid return, and so again we'll see that return continue to increase with Facebook's return on popularity as they work on developing the next major breakthrough in the technology world. So do you agree with Kathy Wood? Is Facebook stock now something you believe is worth buying, or do you think this whole metaverse thing is overhyped and it won't change Facebook's performance in the long run? Comment what you guys think down below, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys all had a great day today. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out.